let's go to Caroline Woods and let's talk some robots and AI. I don't know what to totally make about these stories, Caroline, but uh, <laughs> both hitting over the weekend. Uh, we start off our session here with Amazon and Meta, both with some AI news. Let's start with Amazon first. Uh, this one seems like maybe it should have been in our framework for Amazon to compete with its peers. Yes, Amazon's making a multi-billion dollar investment in artificial intelligence, likely to better compete with some of its peers like Alphabet and Microsoft. It's going to invest up to $4 billion in AI firm Anthropic, which is actually a competitor to OpenAI's ChatGPT, will also take a minority ownership in the company. Anthropic was actually founded two years ago by former OpenAI research executives. They recently debuted their, their new AI chatbot called called Claude 2, and Amazon and Anthropic will strategically collaborate to advance generative AI. So Anthropic will use AWS as its primary cloud provider. It will also use AWS design chips to train its models. And then Anthropic will in turn provide AWS customers with features to, to customize their models. And, and both companies will work together to develop future technology in the space. Another thing that I think is important to note, Oliver, I was looking for a valuation of Anthropic, and I did notice that back in May, they completed a, a $450 million, um, they raised $450 million in a Series C round. They didn't release a valuation then, but there were reports it had a pre-investment valuation of about $4.1 billion. So the fact that Amazon's taking a minority stake at up to $4 billion, I think just goes to show uh, what's going on with AI valuations right now. But taking a look at Amazon shares, they're essentially flat right now. They're down about 6.5% so far in September. So not necessarily getting a pop on this news, but not necessarily participating in some of the selling that we're seeing across the board in the early going either. Yeah, it's uh, been a really interesting chart to see how Amazon had been beating their peers over the last couple months but then now last week kind of getting dragged with the rest of the market what a name for an ai business by the way anthropic i guess that is a little bit of uh, irony or something there uh okay how about for meta uh they're gonna release release the chatbots <laughs> Yes, that's, it appears to be the case. Meta is planning to release artificial intelligence chatbots uh, as soon as this week. This is according to the Wall Street Journal. The chatbox will have distinct personalities across all of its social platforms, and they'll be used to attract younger users. We know that uh, Meta is up against stiff competition with, the, with TikTok, of course. So these are meant to drive engagement with users, but could also help with tasks, apparently, like coding, according to this report. They're currently being tested by employees, and the first is supposed to be announced at the Meta Connect conference, which begins on Wednesday of this week. So we'll see if uh, these AI-generated chatbots do the trick to attract more users to better compete with TikTok. The Wall Street Journal did shed some light on, on some of the bots in the works, talking about this Bob the Robot, which apparently is a play on a character from Futurama named Bender. I don't know if you know it, Oliver. I, I certainly don't. This, this whole report made me feel very old, but apparently he'll have superior intellect, sharp wit, and biting sarcasm, and has been quoted by the Wall Street Journal as saying, bring me your questions, but don't expect any sugar-coated responses. And apparently Meta is also working on a product for, um, for different influencers and celebrities for them to better uh, connect or with a, via AI chatbots with their followers and their fans. So trying to do this to, to drive user engagement and attract some of the younger crowd. But I will say, I remember about a million years ago when I was still using a Blackberry and a friend or a coworker had an iPhone and she's like, look at these emojis, aren't they amazing? And I thought to myself like, why would anybody need to use those? <laughs> and now I use them all the time. So maybe I'll be a, a late adopter of AI chatbots as well. Okay. Well, uh, if they're better than, right now it's like kind of impossible to avoid the chatbots and so many different services that uh, maybe if they do them better, they'll have a product um, they can sell. Though there is definitely a pretty intense race and like gold rush right now by programmers to deliver better chat services. There's uh, so many software companies that are trying to do that right now for their customers. It does seem like kind of a low-hanging fruit uh, for this big breakthrough the last year. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for the update, Caroline. Appreciate it.